Hi, my name is Adam. And uh, one of the things that I like to do is walk through neighborhoods, through the woods, through parks, and on mountains. I like to walk. So join me, and together we'll take a step to see the world. Well, it finally did it. Finally. In the Portland area, it finally snowed. And since it doesn't do it very often in this area, I'm going to check it out. The path uh, might prove to be a little bit hazardous because the snow isn't fresh anymore, it's starting to melt. So it's turning to a lot of slush. And me, in my shorts and t-shirt, uh, <laughs> need to check it out. Today I'm at the Noble Woods again. I come here often because it's a short trail. Um, it's easy access. I'm not sure how, I'm not <laughs> I don't know about today, but it's usually easy access. Something just was walking behind that car there. Oh, it's a little bird, though. What are you doing out here, sis? Put on some pants, man. That's what he's saying. <laughs> Where is the entrance? Jeez. But look at this. The snow is still on the ground, um, and it's it's actual snow now. It's not just ice. At first, there was an ice rain, like sleet. Then it snowed. Then it sleeted again, so there's ice on top of the snow. <laughs> well, this may very well be accurate. There are some. Uh, I need to walk down this very carefully because I just got my normal shoes on, not uh, snowshoes or anything. So I'm going to have to be very careful walking down here because it is slippery. It is slippery. Boy, I have not walked this trail in the snow before. So, this is a treat for me, too. It actually smells like Christmas out here. <laughs> That's nice. It's nice. I like it. I hear people coughing. And I didn't put on my mask because I didn't want to have trouble breathing. Um, so, right now, we're in the double mask policy. And it's not so bad. Um... Whereas a single mask would sometimes stick to my face if I got hot and sweaty, the double mask actually doesn't seem to do that. However, it does pull on my ears more. And that kind of bothers my ears. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to give this person a wide berth. Because they're coming up my way. More people coughing in the distance. That's exactly what I want to hear. Oh, well, yesterday. Jesus, would you fucking move? Good God, people, stop fucking standing in place and coughing. Just move. Shit. I don't need to be passing people coughing. Just standing there, smoking. Three people, and they're coughing. That's great. Um, I'll go up the other way because he's really, really coughing. I think he's coughing because he's probably not been. Uh, 
frequent smoker, but what do I know? You know? <laughs> what do I know? So I'm going to walk back up here, because why not? And I'll go the other way. The other way is a more steep hill than this one. However, if I go down that way, <laughs> maybe I'll have a better luck sliding down while going down than uh, sliding down while trying to go back up, you know? Maybe the coughing was a blessing in disguise. Maybe. Same person we passed on the way down. What on earth is she doing? Oh, more cars coming. Great. Starting down the other trailhead. Let's go. Ooh, sliding. There's the predicted slide. <laughs> the predicted slide. Yeah. I'm gonna go down this way. <laughs> Another predicted slide. Nice. Another predicted slide. And this goes around this way. And actually meets up with the exact same trail that I got off of to go this way. A little confusing, but maybe not. Just another way to get to the same place, right? It is not very often that I see snow in the Portland area at all. So when it does happen, it's nice to take advantage of the sights and sounds, even if I'm in nothing but my shorts and t-shirt, and socks and underwear and shoes. I don't even wear a watch. <laughs> Can't even garner any warmth for a watch. And it's not that cold out. It's really not that cold out. The only time the cold has bothered me in the longest time is uh, in Las Vegas at night in early December. Of course, Las Vegas during the day in early December was not too bad. The uh, temperature was in the 60s. So it was kind of like a, you know, an actual nice spring day in Oregon. But at night, the desert cold seeped into your bones. And though I definitely dressed like I normally dress in Oregon, um, I was really unprepared for it to be as cold as it was at night in Las Vegas. And it wasn't as cold as it gets around here, but like the the climate was, was just like the climate was different. So really took a hold. Look at that. Look at all that. Pretty. Very pretty. Very nice.
Very nice. I'm hearing an owl in the background. Which is also nice. I have lots of owls in the area. I'm not usually awake to hear most of them. Who's it going? Ah. Hmm. Okay. Well, it can't be too cold out because, uh, The stream is still streaming. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Of course, now it's quiet, so you can't hear anything anyway. Certainly an interesting birdo sound. I do like birdos. They're good and fair. Pretty. Very white. The snow has weighed down some of these branches pretty badly. Yeah, really, what a mess, jeez. Uh, some of this was snow, some of this was wind, knocking this stuff around. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Oh, that's a mess. That's a mess. You can see that the uh, snow has, and the wind, has not only weighed some of these things down, it's knocked branches down. So they're into the path and stuff. The city will clean all that up, of course, once the weather gets a little better. Uh, for now, let's walk down here. Well, Valentine's dinner is definitely going to be uh, appreciated tonight. Look at this, boy. Can I duck down enough to get under there without going off the uh, bridge is the question. I'm kind of tall and I'm pretty fat, which means I don't bend as well as I'd like to. Head dug into my back. I'm sure I got a mark back there now. It's all good. The shirt can be washed. And scratches do heal up very quickly. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Mmm. It's getting a little cold. I wonder if this was a, such a good idea after all. Probably okay, right? <laughs> I haven't called her before. Alright. Oh boy. Ah, oh, that looks nice. This is a uh, regrowth area for. Um, plant life. They don't necessarily people want uh, people don't want they don't necessarily want people walking around in it. So I'd like to stay out of it. See the uh, creek down there in the distance. Looking nice, very pretty, very pretty out. I can also hear people walking and coming closer to me. So I kind of want to be on my way, okay? Actually, we're more than halfway done now. Like I said, I come to this path pretty often because it's easy to get to. It's not too difficult to walk at all. Very accessible to people, uh, lots of people. And so I come here, often. Place very rarely lets me down.
we are here in an area we can actually overlook a nice visual of the creek below. Yeah. This is my favorite part of the uh, actual path. From here you can see uh, on a more descript day <laughs> rather than just all whites and grays. Um, lots of neat things. In the springtime it grows out more so there's a lot more foliage of course and there's more colors. You can see the creek below, you can see the hill. There's some housing in the air distance now. But uh, the creek goes a ways. Uh, and over here, you've got uh, well, ooh, got a slippery spot and a lot of sh uh, trees covered in snow. <laughs> and a snowy hill that is very easily to slide down, even when it's dry out because it's all dirt and dust. Yeah. I'm hearing uh, either people are approaching or branches are falling in the distance. <laughs> Time to get on my way. I'm finding the snow actually helpful because during this time of year this particular path is often pretty muddy because of just how damp it is. But the snow and the ice are, you know, that's covering that all up right now, which is nice. I'm not getting my shoes all dirty. Alright. Pretty lights. Very pretty lights. Oh, that's nice. There's ice chips falling from the trees. <laughs> I don't want them to land on my head. Oh, see? This is already turning to slush down here, huh? Kind of what I want to avoid while I'm walking or driving. If there's hills involved or if, uh, I happen to be on the steel bridge at the moment. Yeah, all right. Yeah. During the springtime in the summer, this field would be filled up with 
kids and doggos running around having a good time. The restrooms will be open. Well, not open during the winter. Or the uh, fall. Well, maybe they don't want, don't want people sleeping in during those times of year. I don't know. Yeah, here's the parking lot. You can see it's been uh, used today. That's good to see. Good to know that people have been here. This picnic area over here is always nice. Never seen anybody eat inside of it, but there's people in it right now. Yeah, there are. We are heading back to the trailhead we originally started out on so I can finish up going that way. The hill going back up that way is not as steep as the other one. And as I said, I was kind of uh, worried about slipping on the other one going back up. So, we'll see how this one turns out. Hey, I've been through these before. Get them through these damn things. Okay. Big fat finger out of the way of the camera, all right? <laughs> there we go. All right, close encounter with the brush. Close encounters of the wooded kind. I'm going to go straight through here, and under, and up, move my head a little, go back this way. All right. Okay, boy, I, uh, I decided to put my left hand in my pocket for added warmth. It is truly very pretty out here. But even I have to say, it's getting a little cold.
Oh, these pads are sure pretty today. I wish it snowed a little more sometimes. You know, every few years when I'm reminded that it would have been a good idea to buy a snow shovel. Otherwise, the fair weather we get in the Pacific Northwest is actually just fine. Um, you can get cold sometimes. But if you're born here, if you live here for any length of time, you get used to it. Uh, in the, you know, summer you've got good heat. Some places might call it um, okay heat, moderate heat, but there are times in the summer, maybe between 10 to you know, 20 days out of the year that it does reach over 100 degrees in the summertime. So it's not like summer here isn't warm. Sometimes it's, you know, depressingly warm. <laughs> because we also have humidity we gotta take into account. It's not a dry heat. I'm gonna head back up here. These trees just love to get sticks in my way, really. All these little tree branches in my way. But that's okay. They gotta do what they gotta do, you know. They can take a little added weight, it'll melt and they'll spring right back up to where they were once the sun comes out again. And in fact, rather than today's close to freezing temperatures, by midweek, which is just like two, three days away, we're supposed to be back up into the 50s again. So, I'm uh, taking the opportunity right now to get this recorded. Oh boy. Kind of glad these bridges aren't like these uh, branches. <laughs> I don't need it bending under the added weight of the snow and the ice and in myself. Yeah. Slippery. We're almost out. Almost. Almost. Almost out. We made it. We made it. We're out. Look at this pristine, not pristine, slightly disturbed, snowy <laughs> field of vision. Very pretty. In these lonely woods <sighs> on a cold night in Oregon. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time on a not-so-frozen adventure.